Hi guys and a big congrats on God mothered. It made me believe in the happily ever after. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Annie. You are so welcome. Now let's begin with you, Miss Jillian Bell. The last time I spoke with you last year, actually, uh, you were Brittany running a marathon. And, and this year, you're a fairy godmother looking for a purpose. What got you interested is the magical Eleanor Faye blooming bottom. <laughs> <laughs> she hates her middle name, but um, <laughs> I, I was so in love with the script and the messaging of the film and the idea of playing a fairy godmother for Disney, there was no way to lose with this. I was just like, if I get to do this, it's such a dream come true. And it really was. Oh, and you, Miss Jillian Spader, the reluctant singer Jane, who also sang two songs, including the one that gave me the feels, by the way. I love the <laughs> mashup of Rise Up and Joy to the World. I love that. Now, what got you in interested in your role as Jane? Oh my gosh, what you just said, the music. I sing a lot in my life and release music and I'm always performing. And I think playing a character that got to do that on screen was really cool for me. It was really fun. And I always love being able to act and sing because it's my two favorite things. So that's definitely why I was super excited. Oh, well, there's a lot to celebrate about this film. One of them is that it's written by women, directed by a woman, and the film features fierce women. That's pretty awesome, right, Miss Jillian Bell? Oh, it's so awesome and welcomed. And anytime I get a script like that where, where there's so many women included, I'm just immediately on board. I'm like, and whatever it is, I want to do it just because it's such a wonderful experience to be surrounded by, by females. And it was such a supportive um, set. I, I had the best time with everyone from Willa to, to June Squibb, you know, just, it, it was, it was multi-generational and, and, uh, and just so inclusive and lovely. Oh, and I also want to add, by the way, that the screenwriters, Carrie G Grandland and Melissa K. Stack, know, they know how new stations work. <laughs> News has a lot to learn from this film, right? <laughs> they nailed it, huh? They nailed it. <laughs> they nailed it. Ratings. I mean, being four from number five is like a very big deal. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> it's true. And I think it's the perfect family film to watch this Christmas season. Do you agree with me, Miss Jillian Spader? Oh, totally. I, my whole family watched it together, everyone who's in my household right now, and we loved it. Everyone was laughing so hard and crying happy tears, and it came at the perfect time. I think when we were filming, we knew it was going to be a very special movie, but we didn't know that it was going to come at such a time that it's needed. Oh, and how was it working with Jillian Bell, by the way? Was she nice to you? No, the worst. <laughs> she is the nicest human I think I've ever met in my entire life. And if you asked me that when she wasn't in the room, I would say the same thing. Her name would come up first. Sweetest human ever. Oh, is my I'm, real life fairy godmother. I'm sending you so much money to say all of these things, but it's worth it. It's worth oh. it. For yeah, I'm getting paid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, son of a butterscotch, this movie made me want to be a fairy godmother. <laughs> yeah, do it. Manny, you can that. live your dreams. Yes. You got this, Manny. You got it. Oh, well, thank you so much again. A big, big, big congrats again on Godmother. It will make you live happily even without the ever after. <laughs>